Alright, I'm here to pick up the tadpoles. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll be here. Alright, let's get these guys home and uh, hopefully everything will work out. I'm so glad I live so close to this UPS. We are back home now and safe. So far I like the stickers. I can feel the water inside. I think there's a lot of water in here. And uh, got them out of the uh, UPS place. And I like this top sticker. It says, Dear UPS, please handle with care and protect from heat. I am alive in here. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh dear. What is this stuff? It's gonna go everywhere. Oh man. Okay, I'm going to have to do this off the camera. There's a lot of, like, insulation or shredded, finely cotton paper, and it's just not good. Okay, this, I'm not impressed so far. This stuff is a major allergen. Look at this. This is, like... I don't know, the stuff they put up in the attic. Why would you use this garbage? Not impressed. Smells terrible. Could have gotten all into my tanks with your clean water over there. Alright, so we got a box within the box that's covered with this stuff. This is not good packaging, people. I am not impressed. Uh, let me clean the box off so I can put it on my clean counter. Oh, and, and look at this put a brand new garbage bag in there and that's what I get to throw out and I don't think I'm gonna throw it out not in here because it's gonna make a poof cloud I'm gonna do this outside they really should have used packing peanuts or uh, airbags anything even even though I hate shredded newspaper that would have worked too okay so we got a nice pack this feels Cool. And then there was another one on top. This one, another phase pack. Alright, look at this. We've got like this space age stuff. This is cool. Alright. So, oh, good, good. I'll, uh, I'll do a separate unboxing for this later, but it's a tadpole kit. This is very good to have. I'm glad they tossed that in for free. Oh, oh, this is looking. Look at that. Buy little babies to ribless mint. I like this uh, space age lunar lander type thing. And then this is gold, like the lunar lander. I'm trying to keep these guys level because this is how they were packaged. Figure out how to get them out. Okay, looks like it just comes off like that. Oh, sticky. Aha! Ah! Help! <laughs> Do we have frogs yet? There will be frogs on this frog tour. I think they'll have that on the tour. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> wow. They come in a test tube. Oh, there he is. There's one. Two. Bit of leakage. Okay. Three. Okay, that's pretty cool. Gently stand them up. All right, so I have the log in here. I put the drops of the black water e extract in. I've got my leaf. 
the Indian almond. I've got the pine cones. And what I'm gonna do now, it's too bad about ruining these really cool stickers, but they're already wet. So I'm just gonna put these so that the temperatures will acclimate. So I'm gonna float those guys for, according to the paper, it says two hours. And um, this particular type of frog, the Phyllobates, is okay to keep them in a group in one container like this. They won't eat each other or anything. And I might add more wood and hiding places in here too so that they have plenty of stuff to do and I'll, I'll make sure I take care of them right. Alright, so it's been about two hours now and I noticed I think two of them already have back legs and I think one does not. Let's put this guy in first. Oh, there he goes. He's swimming pretty well. So now let's do this one. Yep, you can see the legs on that one. <laughs> they shoot us like a, a slide at an amusement park. His friend's going to check him out. Alright, let's let him out. Oh, that one didn't shoot out like the others did. <laughs> Now these guys, when they uh, first emerge, they're actually uh, brown frogs and they have to grow and it takes a while for them to turn into that pale green that gives them their name being mint frogs. So this is what came with the kit, a little pamphlet on how to build a terrarium, if I can open it. I've already read it, it's pretty cool. And then it came with some Indian almond leaves, which I have a piece in the tank already. And then this is uh, for making tadpole tea, it's uh, Indian almond leaf extract, so you put some drops in there. Uh, came with a log of chola wood. Uh, these really cute alder cones. I never knew what these were. I had never heard of these until now, until I got into frogs. They are adorable. I didn't know there were such tiny pine cones and everything. And this kind of tree doesn't grow here in Florida, so I had never seen or heard of it. That is really cute. And it comes with three types of food that you're supposed to rotate with each feeding. Um, so we got, uh, this is the one that I fed first, and then you're supposed to feed the, this is like a regular uh, mix that they made of pellets. This is bee pollen, this is spirulina. And then they gave a little tiny miniature spoon, one per frog. I, I don't know. That's kind of crazy. That's okay. I know how much to feed them. This isn't my first time taking care of tadpoles, and these guys over here that I've had first are doing great. So, anyways, yeah, no, that's a, that's a very cool kit, and I'm very glad that they added that, so it's just a nice thing. And the uh, tadpoles seem to be settling in. Hopefully they'll grow, and uh, it's kind of neat that uh, some of them came with back legs already, so they're kind of further along than my... Uh, um, Santa Isabel frogs are. Okay. Alright, so what do I think of Houston frogs after my first time ordering with them? Well, right off the bat, and it was very obvious, I did not like half of the packaging. 
that insulation stuff was terrible. I'm glad Chris wasn't home because he has allergies and I can't imagine what that would have done to him. And uh, their communication is, mm, it's okay. Um, I sent them an email asking when the frogs were going to ship. Uh, tadpoles. I'm just going to call them frogs. You guys know what I mean. But, uh, uh, email communication is not that great. They do say on their website that the best thing to do is to call them. And, uh, I finally did call and get a hold of them. Had to call them twice. Um, other than that, I think everything else went very well. Uh, the packaging as far as in test tubes, the water was leaking out. Th that could be a problem, especially if the package got a delayed. I don't know if they... I don't know. I have never done tadpoles before over the mail. Uh, so... I'm sure there is a better way to package them so that the water doesn't leak out. I don't... I just don't know what that is. So, that could use a little work. Um, as for the tadpoles themselves, they look good to me. And I know they have quality frogs. They do have good reviews from what I've seen of the few reviews that are here on, on YouTube. And uh, I know I've heard they have good customer service. Once, if you're out of state, you can get a hold of them. All right, but now the good stuff. So yeah, so the frogs are in good shape. I can tell they're gonna be nice frogs. I did like the rest of the packaging. And when I talked to the uh, employee there on the phone finally, he was very nice and helpful. He answered my questions and gave me advice on how to take care of the frogs. So that was really cool. And will I shop with them again? Mm, yes, I will. I am going to uh, order dry goods and I suspect that the dry goods buying things like uh, more of this wood and leaf litter and food and something that isn't as nerve-wracking as waiting on live animals through the mail I think that's gonna go much better don't have to be worried about when's it gonna ship have they shipped it did they get my email um, yeah so I think that that'll be much better I'll definitely give them another chance in that and I may order more frogs from them in the future they do have some other frogs that I'm interested in they are just out of stock at the moment as far as recommending them neutral I can't say I don't know enough yet this could have been a worse experience but could have been a better experience so not bad first time Overall, I'm happy. I'm thankful I got my frogs. I have been whining these guys for a long time. So, yeah. So, overall, yeah, I'm, I'm fairly pleased. Biggest complaint, get rid of that insulation, please. If you guys see this, that stuff needs to go. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed that. Des, signing off.